Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the topic of pressuring people to believe in things. Now when people talk about pressuring someone to believe, one of the things that comes up often, at least for me, is the topic of religion. So this happens, for example, some of my friends are Catholic, or were raised Catholic, and felt pressure to get confirmed in the church. I also see more extreme examples of this in the news, like I see examples in areas in the Middle East where there are militant Islamic groups that pressure people to convert to Islam, in some cases threatening them with death if they don't. Now to me, when I think about religion, the idea of threatening someone with death if they don't convert to a religion seems completely ridiculous to me. Like, if I genuinely believe in God, and I genuinely believe in a certain religion, and I want to spread that to others, like, if I threaten someone, all that does is forces them to choose between death or professing a belief. It doesn't necessarily force them to believe. It seems to me like when someone threatens someone like that, it just creates this setup in which the person says something, and then they keep their personal beliefs private. I mean, that's what I would do if I were threatened in that kind of manner. Now, I want to go to a different arena, which is the arena of modern society. We see this a lot on the internet, when people are talking about political beliefs or other beliefs. One of the things that I see happen a lot, on the internet especially, but I see it happen in person too, is that when someone voices a viewpoint that someone really strongly disagrees with, the other person will often attack, insult, or publicly shame that person for voicing whatever viewpoint it was that they found problematic. I really don't like this, for one of the same reasons I don't like the idea of threatening to kill someone if they don't convert to your religion. And it's because it's providing this sort of external motivator, this pressure for the person to profess a certain type of belief, without really giving the person the freedom to choose to examine the belief on their own, and choose to embrace whatever they want to believe. Like, I think a good example of this is racism. Racism is something that generally is agreed upon as being a bad thing in our society. And when people voice racist views, they're often attacked for it. But one thing that I've seen a lot is that there are a lot of people who hold racist views, but because of this social stigma, they sort of keep them under the table, like they keep them out of the open, but they still might voice them with their friends. Like sometimes I even feel like, in rural areas especially, I've heard white people come up to me and start saying horrible things about black people, like because they assume that I might agree with them because I'm white or something like that. And it's really offensive to me. But at the same time, I understand a little bit what these people are going through in that they have this belief and they're publicly attacked and shamed for it in society, and I think people have this tendency to resist that, to react against it. I really care about rooting out unhealthy beliefs from society, including racism. And so, one of the things that I want to encourage people to do is to stop attacking people, stop shaming people, and sh stop insulting them for expressing their beliefs. And instead, engage with them, engage with the beliefs themselves. I think that's a much healthier way of trying to change people's viewpoints on things, because it removes that element of pressure, and it instead helps someone to come to their own realization. Um, and whether you're talking about spreading ideas in a religion, or you're talking about hashing out political ideas, or you're talking about overcoming racism or other forms of prejudice and discrimination in society, I think that it's more helpful if you approach things in that manner. Like, you try to reduce the pressuring, and you try to like guide people through this process of self-realization. Um, I hope that this has been insightful, and I hope that I have somehow challenged your ideas, and that you have gained some sort of deep insight as a result. Thank you.